Restorative justice as a term has been around in Canada only for about 35 years, but as a practice, as we know from our Aboriginal peoples, it's been around for generations and thousands of years in lots of ways. We've been involved as a program here in Abbotsford in restorative justice with relation primarily to men and women in the prison and also with another program that is uh, oriented towards sex offenders who are considered high risk in returning to society and we form circles of support and accountability around them. The main value that we have always seen in the work we do is respect, something that we heard from our speaker tonight at the uh, presentation here, and above all, never giving up on anyone, always believing that people can change and that it takes a community usually to draw a person towards that change. So our uh, experience in the program that I am involved with has been over four decades now that people can change, that if we show them respect and if we show a consistent hopefulness that they can move forward with their lives, that they will themselves learn ways of restoration both to the persons they have hurt and also in terms of their own brokennesses that restore them back to something closer to the kind of humans that we're all meant to be. What Arja is doing in the community right now, um, I look at it as providing another alternative for the Abbotsford Police. Something for uh, fences that might not be serious enough or, yeah, serious enough to, to send to court, but still there should be something more than just a slap on a wrist um, that we can, we can uh, intervene and have some real learning some real accountability in those situations and have some kind of follow through for for uh, what happened in that incident. Um, you know, dealing with, with young offenders that this is their first real mess up, they might not be be entrenched in, in a life of crime yet. This is a chance for us to intervene early and, and uh, yeah, change the course of their life this way. Um, and that's why, that's one of the reasons I'm really excited to be involved in what Arge is doing.